Today we are going to learn how to use base 10 blocks to solve word problems involving addition. After viewing this lesson, students should be able to demonstrate their understanding of using addition and solving word problems. Students will also understand how base 10 blocks can be used to set up an addition equation. Students will demonstrate this by solving word problems using addition and by demonstrating their ability to set up an addition equation from the information provided in the word problem. Okay, first we're going to practice setting up an equation using base 10 blocks. The first thing we're going to do is we have our box here and we're going to put three blocks in the first box and we're going to go ahead and put four blocks in the second box. Now to set this up as an addition equation, we're over here we write one, two, three blocks in the first box and one, two, three, four blocks in the second block box for a total of how many? To figure that out, you just have to move all of your blocks to the bottom and count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three plus four equals seven. Okay, let's try one more. In our first box, we have six blocks. And in our second box, we have five blocks. So we set this up, six plus five. Move all of your blocks to the bottom and count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So six plus five equals eleven. Okay, now we're going to move on to solving for an unknown number. In this case, let's say we have three blocks in the first box and we know that there is a total of seven blocks when we're done. So how would we figure that out? We would need to take away the three blocks from the total and see how many blocks we have left over. That would be one, two, three, four. That would mean that in the first box there's three. This was the number we didn't know and the total was seven. And we decided when we worked this problem that in the second box there would have been four. So three plus our unknown, which we determined was four, equals seven. Okay, let's try one more of those. In this case, we're going to leave our unknown number in the first box. In the second box, we can see we have one, two, three blocks. And in our total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need to figure out how many blocks would be in our first box. To do that, we take away the three that are in the second box and see how many are left over. We're left with one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we take our unknown and make it the six plus the three from the second box gives us a total of nine. Okay, with base 10 blocks, we have these which are called units and they equal one. And we have these which are called rods and they're equal to 10. So you can exchange 10 single units for one rod. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So anytime you have 10 single units, you can exchange it for a rod. All right, let's practice exchanging the single units for the rods with the base 10 blocks. In this example, our first box has one, two, three, four individual units. Our second box has one, two, three individual units. That brings us down for a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now in this case, we wouldn't have enough to exchange for the rod because we have to have ten individual units in order to exchange that. Okay, let's try one more. In this one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven individual units in our first box. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six individual units in our second box. Move them all down to our total, add them up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So seven plus six equals thirteen. Now in this case, we can take ten of these away, take these ten away, and replace it with the rod. 
And you can see we still have our correct answer of 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, let's try solving a word problem using our base 10 blocks. Let's say that you have five apples, so let's put, I'm sorry, eight apples, so let's put eight blocks in the one column. And then your friend gives you five more apples, so let's take five more ones and put them in the ones column. Now we're going to figure out how many apples you have all together. First we need to figure out if we have enough to exchange for our rod. And if you remember, we need 10 individual units or ones to exchange for a rod. So let's count them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can move those out and exchange it for our 10's rod. Now, how many do we have total? We have our 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13 apples total. Now that we have learned how to use base 10 blocks to solve word problems with addition, please take the quiz on this section. Make sure that you read the questions carefully and choose the best answer for each question. If you are having trouble with the addition, go ahead and draw out the problem box and draw base 10 blocks like we did in our examples.